Hello and welcome to another video. This video is about the Android, uh, Mono for Android uh, tutorials and the best place to find samples right away without waiting for any video. Um, you need to go to the uh, to this link at the top of my browser. It has samples of all kinds of uh, things that you need for the Mono for Android. Uh, this one is specifically what I did is I click on zip and it downloaded that zip file. Once you unzip it, you will have access to all of this uh, uh, sample code here. So I don't think you need my code on this one because it's already done. There's so many here, but the one I'm going to cover is this one, the SQL Lite. And it's a very simple demo here. As you can see, it's an, just a notepad. You just type notes and it saves into the SQLite database. So <clears throat> you can download it here so you can play around. But uh, I already did it. So what I'm going to do is just going to run it so you can see what it does. Uh, make sure you start the emulator before, you, if not, you won't see this uh, running in the background. Just click start and select one of the ones you have done. I clicked on API 10. So I already did it to save time. So here it is. It's synchronizing and it's going to deploy. I did have, I did found a bug on this sample and I show you where it is. So as you can see, I already did some. A few minutes ago and it's still remembering or still has the SQL uh, like it's supposed to so in this demo uh, you're supposed to click on your menu button in your phone or the emulator and the idea is to add a note so adding a note from a video dash YouTube tutorial Okay, and then you click your back button. It's kind of weird. There's no stay, but anyways, that's how it is. And as you can see, it's right here at the bottom. Now, if you click on it, you can go back and edit it or add more or take away. So we're going to do another one. Menu button, add a note. Uh, more notes, whatever. Click back. And it's gonna be right here at the bottom. So it's pretty nice. Yeah, all you did was just run and it actually works. Uh, the bug that I found on this sample code is that when you were when I when I started the, the demo and you click on for example on this one, uh, this wouldn't happen. You will get the top one, this one. So the bug is that no matter what you click on, you will always get this one sample note. So that's the bug that I found, and I'm going to show you where it is, so you don't have to waste time to find out what happened here. So I'm going to stop the project, and I'm going to show you where I found that error. Now here, you don't see any reference to the SQLite, but on, if you go on reference, uh, you have to add on your own project uh, this... Uh, reference the mono dot data that sqlite and don't forget this one system dot data if you only add the sqlite it's not going to work you need to add the system dot data make sure you have both and the next thing this is just basic stuff just images layout just just one that shows you the all the notes and one where you actually add the stuff or edit and there's no values, it's probably basic. And this is just a screenshot how it looks. And here, I'm going to show you the good part about this one is here that there's a class called Note uh, Repository. Basically, what that means is, uh, yes, what that means is uh, this is where the SQL function is going to live. Let me save this guy. 
So let's start with the top. This sample is from uh, Samarin, not from me. So we're using that tutorial, that demo. As you can see, this class is using a namespace. I'm going to close this guy so we can go one by one. So it's a good idea to do a global variable here. So in your entire class, you can reference DB file anywhere. So when the program runs, uh, the first thing it does is, let's say we want to get a note. Or let's do this one, get notes. As you can see here, if you know SQL, it should be easy for you to figure out what this means. Nothing fancy. So we have a string of the query that we're going to be doing. Uh, remember to add the semicolon at the end. That's the syntax for SQLite. So once you have your, your query right here, uh, here's a good idea to start using the using statement. And what it's doing is first, we're going to get a connection. So if we look at the uh, get connection static class or method here, what it's going to do is going to say, hey, I want to know if the database file, if it exists. If the phone already has it, then it's going to check. So you're going into the personal folder on the Android app. And then you're checking if it if it's available there. Now if it if it doesn't found if it doesn't find the database, then as you can see here, it's just gonna create. So SQLite has this uh, method called create file, basically create the database. So it's gonna create it at this location. Personal folders and then the nodes and let's cr create the database. After that, it's going to create the connection, referring at that where you already saved it from this previous code. And then after that, if that doesn't exist, it will create a database. So if we go down to create database right here, it takes in a connection. So at least you know where it is, the file. So this is just to do the file, the the SQL data, uh, sorry, the SQL uh, file. Once you have that, it checks if you have a database there in that file. So obviously, if you don't have a database file, you won't have a, any tables there or database at all, anything at all. So the next step is to create the tables in that file. So as you can see, it will create, it will call create database, and it's calling this create table items. The, the table is called items, and it's adding a, a int or an integer as ID auto increment, so you don't have to worry about it. You're sending text, that's your note, and modify, just a date time. And here you open in the connection. And you're using your another again using statement. You create a SQLite command and you pass your command and you execute it as a non query because you're not expecting anything back. Just create it. And as you can see here, it's adding a sample uh, data so it won't be blank. And it's using the parameters uh, option here with values and it has sample note and just daytime now and again insert non non query you don't need that and close your connection so with that when that's when when that happens then you can go ahead and select and if you're doing uh get notes and the same thing create command where's the command and then on this one you do you know you do the execute reader so here, execute reader, and then while it's reading, then you return a note with these values. So row one is the integer, the ID, 
this is the text and this is the time remember this the ID is an integer the value the text is just text the body just text so that's a string and it's in zero index uh, table the reader and then get time is a it's a date time make sure you have this right on your own code because if not it's gonna give you an error it's gonna say you cannot cast from string to integer or something like that so that's how you um, go through this code and here here's where I found the bug here is the bug from the sample code so the code the bug that I found is that this piece of code was just like this without this so if you leave it like this it will never work it will just give you the same thing all over again and at first it looks well what what ID means uh, if you look at the code up here we go to it was it was this one here we go here's where you list your your notes and as you can see here it's, it's starting the activity with a default value if you look at here it says the negative one that's the default value let me do this anyways I don't think I see it here but it, if you add a negative one it will in case you forget to if the note ID is blank it will use negative one so by the time you get to this code it's gonna use negative one so to fix the bug just add a the parameter argument right here the add sign and add this code the parameter with value and pass your ID from here to fix that little bug and they forgot to add this line and the little character there so that should fix it uh, let me see what else everything else is just the same here just a note I don't think you even need the note you can probably just pass the ID uh, to delete an ID specific ID but that works too this one yeah that's gonna work too because they're using the the string format so that's good save note same thing make sure you start doing the get connection because the get connection is gonna pull up this guy and then if database is not there it's gonna create it for you so it's pretty simple uh, make sure you go to this website uh, to get the samples download if you have any questions uh, let me know uh, if you know SQL from Microsoft this should be very familiar to you very similar uh, the main this is the main um, activity as you can see here main launcher equals true so if you want to think where does all of this start when you click play well look at the activity main launcher if it's true that means this guy is going to start up your process so uh, this tutorial also has or I mean this video or this demo has other cool stuff that you need to learn like the um, you know how you click the the menu button when I was doing the the menu button this pop pops up well this uh, code shows you how to do that and here's some like on create option menu you're creating a menu here returning it when they select it like on our program it's just popping up and saying add a note and it's launching this guy the editor so 
you should go through it and see what else you can uh, use on your own code like for example this one item selected that's when you clicked on the note and it takes you to the editor on this one they're deleting it so here is on list item click then they're starting this activity the editor this one they're starting whatever they're starting here the delete note they're just calling delete note which is the this guy whoops this guy delete note that's a static class so you can call it that way so if you have any questions on this tutorial or this demo code let me know and i'll do my best to help you thank you for watching